All right, man, K. Cunningham got injured last night um, versus the Denver Nuggets in the first half and did not return. All right. Um, so, uh, so, yep. They call it in a left knee strain. Um, and who didn't see this coming, man? He putting the team on the back, on his back, you know, playing all these minutes, scoring all these points, trying to, you know, um, win ball games and not having that much help. Got to remind you of Grant Hill playing on that bum, that bum ankle back in the day and then putting all that strain on Grant Hill. You know, and today's athlete physically can't carry a team. That's just what it is. They physically are not capable enough of carrying a team. I don't know if it's the diet. They go around saying this the, you know, this the best, you know, uh, this the best generation of athlete that we ever seen, but they ain't never healthy. You know, but they ain't never healthy. That's the crazy thing about it. Always injured, even with all the low management in the world. These dudes, you know, ain't in, ain't healthy. And now it, things can tend to get worse and worse. Now this can be an also a blessing in disguise. Maybe somebody can step up and establish themselves. But the problem is the whole thing they've been hanging their hat on, you know what I'm saying, is that uh, the whole thing they've been hanging their hat on is that they ain't been, you know, uh, healthy. And, then you know, we got to give this team a chance to, to jail. And all of a sudden, uh, Monty Moore said he should be back soon. And then K go out the lineup. So sometimes, you know, these things just ain't meant to be. You know, sometimes these things ain't meant to be. And and that's and that's and that's that's very unfortunate. That's very unfortunate. For real. Sometimes that's very unfortunate. You know, and, um, you know, it's just, it could be just a knee strain. It could be out a couple of weeks and, and, and all that other type of stuff. But um, he put in extremely, you know, too much on him. And we all can see it. So we just they saying it's a knee strain, they'll do a scan on it or MRI on it, whatever it is, and um we'll know the severity of it, you know, whatever. But they putting too much on them. And Troy Weaver excuses has been, well, we haven't seen this this team jail together, we haven't seen them play together, or whatever the situation may be. And at the end of the day, maybe it ain't meant to be for these guys to be together. Maybe it ain't meant to be. That's what you got to ask yourself. Maybe it ain't meant to be. Maybe maybe it's not meant to be for, for this core to, to, to be together. You know? So, you know, and if that's the case, that that is what it is. But they just put extremely too much on his plate this year. And the guys that can't help him, they refusing to play them. You know? They refusing to play, you know, the Sassers and the, you know, the Ivies and all that stuff. And now, you know, maybe they get a ball over the Ivy. Don't be surprised if Monty Morris come back, he start – you know, over Ivy or something like that, or they try to do something like that. Who knows? You know how uh, Monty is. Fucking idiot. But right now they call it a strain and we'll see, but they, they can be in, in line for another record-breaking streak. They're already on another streak. At least they broke the streak before they went on the West Coast swing. That's what we can say. You 
You know, at least they went on a break before, you know, they going on a win, but they could be putting together another losing streak. Maybe they play better without Kay Cunningham. Who knows? They might. They might play better without him. But we'll literally have to wait and see. You know, fire Killian back up. Fire Killian back up. Y'all know what's coming. <laughs> Y'all know what's coming. But says Pistons, K Cunningham knee exit loss at the guard. Pistons guard K Cunningham left the 131 114 loss to Denver with the left knee strain. Cunningham suffered the injury in the second quarter and was ruled out later. He scored three points, one for six shooting before the exit. So this dude always injured. But this year, they put too much on his plate, and a blind man can see this one coming. A blind man can see this one coming. Real real talk, a blind man can see this one coming. No cap. Real talk, a blind man can see this one coming. They was literally putting too much on, on his plate. They was literally putting too much on his plate. Oh. But no, nonetheless, it is what it is. Um, hopefully he get better. Hopefully he heal up. And hopefully they can continue to win some games. But, man, we all know they need to fire everybody. Or at least Troy Weaver and let Monty Williams pick his own GM or something like that. So, you know. It is what it is, man. Let me know what you girls and guys think in the comment section. Check out Detroit Lions Talk playlist. Hit the link tree. Find me on Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, the whole nine. Appreciate the love and support. Let me know what you girls and guys think in the comment section. Yeah, hit the link tree. Find me on Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, you know, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, uh, the whole nine, man. Appreciate y'all. Peace.